video. I'm sorry about that. I'm also sorry if I look incredibly pale. It happens. <laughs> I wanted to do a top five Wednesday. I know it's a little late, but this week's topic was a freebie. Anything that we wanted to do, and I decided that I'm going to push this back because it's a little bit too close. I decided to do the top five books I'm reading in March. Um, I may not get to all these books, and I'll explain that later. But these are the ones that I've been reading or will get to reading. Number one is Something Wicked This Way Comes. And I'm very sorry for the lighting. I have tried and I have failed miserably. Anyway, I'm on page 52 of this book. It's really fast and it's really good. And I wish I could read it faster than I am. And I might actually do a review of this one because I like it so well. Number two, the second book I'm reading this month is... Can you see it? Probably not. The Devil You Know by M.C. Atwood. This was a cover by because like I've said in videos before, there's not a whole lot of books um, about ghost stories in haunted houses that I have found. And if you know of them, let me know because I would like to read them. I'm actually on page 82 of this one. And I picked this one up before or after this one. So this is really, really fast. It's a really fast read. So that's number two. I think I should be able to get both of these finished. Also this month, I picked up The Picture of Dorian Gray. This was actually, here's the window right there. This was actually a recommendation and I'll have to find the YouTube channel um, and I'll leave it a link below. Uh, she did creepy reads. I think it was a Halloween video and she recommended this one. Now, I know the story of Dorian Gray. It's one of my favorite stories, but I've never read the book. So because I'm a hypocrite that way, so I need to get that over with. I have the book. I'm going to have it read. The next book, number four, I don't know if I'll get to it that I would like to get to it. It's called, you can't see it, The Coldest Girl in Town, in Cold Town by Holly Black. And this was another cover by, and I like Holly Black books, and I thought, let me push this back just a little bit more, because I feel like I'm in your face, and I don't want to be in your face. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Personal space bubble that you have, I don't want to get in it, because that would be rude. This one, like I said, is a cover by, and I love Holly Black books, and there we go. I'm excited to get this one. Don't know if I'll get to it because the fifth book I'm reading this month, and please don't think this is any kind of self-promotion, but it's actually true, is Trinity Row. That's not the cover. This is just the binder. This is the one I'm working on right now. I'm giving myself to the end of the month to get it finished. I'm hoping to get it finished this weekend. Um, I don't know. I should stop making YouTube videos and, and do it. That would be helpful. Anyway, this is my ghost story, southern gothic, um, paranormal, kind of like the haunting, kind of not look. This isn't, like I said, it's not the cover. This is just the outline and everything in there, and I totally went off the rails with it. So, that's what I'm really reading this month, or this, yeah, this month, but the other ones I'm excited to get to. Um, especially, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get these two finished. Um, The Devils You Know and uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. And I think I'm going to get the picture of Dorian Gray finished. And if I start this one, I will call it a win. And I might start other ones. Who knows? It's a whole month. This month has gone fast, though. And it sure has snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting it. Anyway, that's this week's Top 5 Wednesday. A few days late. And... I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month, and I'll see you later. Bye.